to episode number 75. And we got special effects, right? We got a floating lighted pumpkin for all those people on podcast world. And then, but I want to talk about the giant backlog. So, you know, I always hear about teams. They want to expand, hire more people. It's going on everywhere. We got all this work to do. And there's this giant backlog. I was having a conversation the other day and I'm going to do about 200 points worth of work. We have a thousand points in the backlog. You know, from an agile coaching perspective, and this is the beauty behind agile and scrum and what we do. Like if you know you can do say 200 points a PI and you have a thousand points worth of work, that math is so simple. <laughs> It's like, how long will it take you to do this? Well, I have a thousand points of backlog. I can do 200 points. So it'll take me five quarters to do it. It'll take me a year to get that work done. That's the math. Like, it's very easy to project how much work you're going to do. And as you more points, you figure it just, you could lay out your path forever, right? And the question is, you got to look at a couple things. One, how old are these ideas? Have they been sitting around for multiple years, right? And they're just old. So they probably don't, a lot of them might not have any value. They're just sitting in there, just don't have any value. Or are they new work or work that's very valuable that the organization needs to go take a look at, right? And you need to do that, everyone. As an organization, product owners, we talked about product owners, um, architecture yesterday, but a couple of days ago, we were talking about product owners. Product owners in the business and the management staff for the IT group need to look at this backlog and just go off every once in a while and just look at it and just say, how old is this stuff? Is this stuff we really want to do? Does this really have value? And you do that outside the team. You don't need the team to do that. I'm telling you now. And this is what I think a lot of organizations don't do, and it's really not in any of the books. Safe kind of tries to do it where they have a big area up top where the management, the portfolio level are looking at the overall business, right? But I really do believe it's important that the management staff of the IT department or whoever department's doing this work, right? Whoever the managers are, the other people working, and I, like I said, you can do this thing in a people pizza joint if you really want to. The product owners and the business need to get together and maybe have a couple of scrum masters because scrum masters are probably a pretty good fit. I would bring an agile coach to be a facilitator, right? And, um, have that discussion. What's good? What's what's really value? What has real value in our backlog? You need to look at your backlog. What there's a couple of solutions to that, right? You can hire more people. So I got this giant backlog, and I hire more people. So um, or don't run your business the way you're running it. A lot of times when you have that giant backlog and it's backing up, what that tells me is you're not really running Scrum and Agile correctly. And it's kind of wrong. And one of the avenues, so let's say, let's say you have a combination thing. One, I would check the feature backlog for age and whether or not it's still valuable so you can get a real good grip on what really needs to be done. So do you really need to hire a bunch of more people? Two, definitely not running ads right. So if I were to take, a, instead of peppering teams with people, I mean, you could do that for a little bit, Maybe you form a new team, okay, or hire some, take a couple of people out of those other groups that exist because they're not performing well as it is anyhow. So I don't think it's really going to help. But the people that are really good and that understand Agile and seem to like Agile, ask some volunteers, like two or three, and get there. And then you build another team on top of that. So you have this team over here that you just formed. Don't run it the way you are currently running your operations. Don't run it where managers tell things to do things. Run it pure agile, pure scrum. Start with a pure scrum mod, you know, get that. So you have that. So when you add the person, the group on it, they accelerate really fast and quickly. Do not run them the way you're currently running your organization because the reason why you have that giant backlog is nobody in your organization has been able to get the work out fast as the business needs it. So there's a reason why it, so don't run it the way you're currently running it, right? Whether you're doing waterfall before or you're doing agile, quasi agile now with agile name, don't run that new team the way you currently do. Run it in a pure agile scrum-like fashion 
and let it take off. And you'll get a lot of work out of that team. So I think if you did that, not only when we talked about the, you know, the 50% and get the other people, I think you'll like double, triple the production out of that new team. That's my take on it. But I would recommend you do that. Do not combine it and run it the way you run all the other organizations because that is not working. Okay, you have to stop, right? And you all have, ooh, let me make him come in. He's coming in, he's looking. I'm just messing with the YouTube video right now with the pumpkin. Just, just have it. Now, as we close out on our video, hey, it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Please like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Here you go. He's got a little thumb. Yeah, thumbs up on 5 a.m. Master Scrum. I got the pumpkin with my thumbs up thing going on here. Thumbs up.